The Calvert County, Maryland Commissioner's Reports is a headline news podcast provided in part by the Calvert County Communications and Media Relations Division. Commissioner's Reports provides highlights from the Calvert County Board of County Commissioners, county government departments, and key government agencies. Commissioner's Reports covers regional happenings affecting Calvert County citizens, upcoming community events, and news. Hello, and welcome to Commissioner's Reports. I'm your host, Kevin G. Schmidt. In this week's Calvert County Board of Commissioners meeting, public service announcements. Calvert County Health Officer, Dr. Lawrence Polsky, presented the biannual Calvert County State of Our Health Report. Key topics covered were septic permitting, reproductive health, influenza, vaccinations, drug overdoses, and COVID-19. The week of October 21st through 27th in Dr. Polsky's presentation recorded 217 positive cases with seven subsequent hospitalizations and zero deaths. Proclamations Huntingtown High School golf team. Under the leadership of coach John McGuffin, demonstrated good sportsmanship at their match on September 30th, 2021 by cheering and supporting a teammate who sustained a traumatic brain injury. The team agreed that Garrett Ronard would play in the match in the starting lineup. He not only finished a few holes, but completed the entire match of nine holes and was cheered at the final green by many members of the team and of the community. National Family Caregivers Month is an annual observation held in November, developed by the Caregiver Action Network to recognize more than 90 million family caregivers in this country. This year's theme, Caregiving Around the Clock, recognizes that family caregivers selflessly provide countless hours to care for older adults who are friends and loved ones. National Hospice and Palliative Care Month. For more than 40 years, hospice has helped provide comfort and dignity to millions of people allowing them to spend their final months at home surrounded by their loved ones. The hospice model involves an interdisciplinary, team-oriented approach to treatment, including expert medical care, quality symptom control, and comprehensive pain management as a foundation of care. And beyond providing physical treatment, hospice attends to the patient's emotional, spiritual, and family needs, and provides family services like respite care and bereavement counseling. Awards. The Employee Recognition Committee, ERC, is pleased to announce that Master Corrections Deputy Stephen Hance, Detention Center Classification Officer, was selected as the October 2021 Employee of the Month. ERC Team Excellence Award. The Team Excellence Award recognizes employees who have excelled as a group and displayed cooperation and teamwork in support of a common goal or project. Technology Services is being recognized for their outstanding response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Their efforts assured continuity of service for Calvert County citizens and government staff. Recognition, Leadership Southern Maryland graduates. Leadership Southern Maryland, LSM, Executive Program, educates and inspires a diverse group of current leaders, creating opportunities for collaborations and partnership impacting the community needs of Calvert, Charles, and St. Mary's counties. LSM's executive program celebrated their class of 2021 graduation at Anne Marie Gardens on July 22, 2021. This class of graduates included the following employees of Calvert County Government, Tamara Blake Wallace, Crystal Dowd, Carrie Dole, Stanley Harris, and Jenny Plummer Welker. Appointments. Henry Zhang and Richard Branch were reappointed to the Prince Frederick Architectural Review Committee. There is currently one vacancy to fill. In old business, Department of Parks and Recreation, Ward Farm Recreation and Nature Park Equipment Purchase Budget Adjustment. The Department of Parks and Recreation is currently constructing Phase 1 of Ward Farm Recreation and Nature Park. This facility is scheduled to open to the public in the spring of 2022. A budget adjustment of $243,540 was approved for this mission-critical equipment. Office of the County Attorney. Update on Calvert's Police Accountability and Administrative Charging Committee. County Attorney John Norris presented the findings from a public survey and comment period that closed on October 17, 2021, on the first draft of the Calvert County Police Accountability Board and Administrative Charging Committee resolution. Public input was received regarding the size of the Police Accountability Board, racial diversity of the appointments, whether prior convictions should be a basis for excluding applicants, should there be minimum qualifications for applicants, how long applicants should serve, and should terms be staggered. The draft will be revised and released to the public for further review and comment. Consent, Department of Planning and Zoning, recertification of Calvert County's Agricultural Land Preservation Program, 
Counties may apply to the Maryland Department of Agriculture and Maryland Department of Planning to have their agricultural land preservation program certified. Certified counties retain 75% of the agricultural transfer tax that is collected instead of the 35% allowed for uncertified counties. The agricultural transfer tax is a state assessed tax that is triggered when a property is converted from an agricultural use to a residential or commercial use. Approval from the BOCC is required before the application can be formally submitted to the state. Once approval is received from the state, Calvert County will be certified for another three years. Department of Community Resources, FY 2022 Operating Grant Agreement. The BOCC approved the Calvert County Public Transportation FY 2022 Operating Grant Application to the Maryland Department of Transportation, Maryland Transit Administration. This annual grant application is to secure federal, state, and local funding for the continued operations of our public transportation system. Department of Finance and Budget Award Recommendation. Brothers Johnson and Austin Transfer and Processing were awarded contracts for tire recycling services. The purpose of this contract is to provide for the removal, hauling, and recycling of tires from the Appeal Landfill and Fleet Maintenance Facility. Department of Finance and Budget Award recommendation for emergency on-call sewage pumping, hauling, and disposing was awarded to Brothers Johnson, Inc. of Port Republic, Maryland. The purpose of this contract is to provide on-call emergency sewage pumping, hauling, and disposal of materials from various infrastructures, including but not limited to pump stations, manholes, and tankage for the Water and Sewer Division. Department of Parks and Recreation, Breezy Point Beach and Campground Electronic Gate Budget Adjustment. A $70,686 budget adjustment was approved to design a system that will automate gating on both sides of entry at Breezy Point Beach and Campground, as well as upgrade access to campground specifically with an access system that matches what is used countywide for ease of maintenance and technical assistance. Department of Public Works, Highway Maintenance Budget Adjustment. The $55,772 budget adjustment transfer request from the snow removal sand and calcium chloride account to the Highway Maintenance Automobiles and Trucks account was approved. In new business, Calvert Library Bookmobile Ribbon Cutting. Calvert Library, with capital projects support from Calvert County Government and additional funding from the Friends of Calvert Library, initiated the purchase of a 26-foot mobile library bookmobile in fiscal year 2019. Due to labor and supply challenges of the pandemic, the bookmobile was delivered to Fleet in October of 2021. On Tuesday, November 9th, 2021 at 2 p.m., the BOCC held a ribbon cutting ceremony at the Harriet Elizabeth Brown Community Center. The bookmobile will visit child care centers, senior centers, and make neighborhood stops to bring the library directly to the community. The next regularly scheduled Board of County Commissioners meeting will be held November 16th, 2021 at 10 a.m. In other Calvert County local news, Senior Center Booster Clinics, the Calvert County Department of Community Resources Office on Aging is hosting COVID-19 vaccine booster clinics at Calvert County Senior Centers in collaboration with Calvert Health. Vaccine clinics will be held throughout the remainder of the year at all three senior centers. Individuals eligible for a booster shot include those who are immunocompromised, people 65 years and older, people 50 to 64 with underlying medical conditions, people 18 and older who live in long-term care settings. The Calvert County Department of Public Safety, Emergency Management Division informs citizens that help is available for residents in need of assistance for cleanup and repairs following the Chesapeake Bay tidal flooding event October 28th through the 30th, 2021. Crisis Cleanup, in partnership with Maryland volunteer organizations active in disaster and Maryland Department of Energy Management, have developed a process for residents to request assistance with unmet needs and other residential damages. Local jurisdictions and impacted residents can call 410-449-5415 to request assistance. This hotline will remain open through November 19, 2021. The Crisis Cleanup team will work to connect those in need to the appropriate resources, such as volunteers from local relief organizations, community groups, and faith communities who may be able to assist with mucking and gutting of flooded houses, limited removal of fallen trees, drywall, flooring, appliance removal, tarping roofs, mold remediation, and minor repairs. All services are free, but services may not be guaranteed due to the level of need. 
The Department of Planning and Zoning reminds residents that certain repairs from flooding and storm damage may require permits to ensure the safety of repairs. Obtaining permits and inspections reduces potential hazards of unsafe construction and provides for the health, safety, and welfare of residents and the environment. Citizens whose property was damaged from flooding during the storm Thursday, October 28th through Sunday, October 31st are encouraged to reach out to Planning and Zoning staff for questions and assistance with permits by calling 410-535-1600, extension 2552. The BOCC established a new Veterans Affairs Commission to help guide BOCC initiatives, programs, and policies that affect Calvert County veterans. The BOCC unanimously approved establishment of the Veterans Affairs Commission during their Tuesday, March 23, 2021 regular meeting. Formation of the Veterans Affairs Commission is part of the board's continuing effort to ensure that positive and impactful support and services are available to Calvert County veterans. Commission members shall be appointed for three-year terms and can serve up to three consecutive full terms. The Calvert County Department of Community Resources acts as a liaison between the county government and the Veterans Affairs Commission. The following volunteers were chosen for the Veterans Affairs Commission. Michael Wood, Chair, District 3 Representative. Jeffrey King, Vice Chair, Local Business Owner and Operator. Matthew Blackwelder, District 1 Representative. Patricia McCoy, American Legion Post 206 Representative. Wilson Perrin, American Legion Post 220 Representative. Michael Richardson, American Legion Post 274 Representative. Robert Spreacher, American Legion Post 85 Representative. Brandon Temple, Educator and Educational Administrative Representative. Michael Sweeney, District 2 Representative. And Melanie Woodson, BOCC Representative. The Linda L. Kelly Animal Shelter capacity is at 125 animals, mostly cats. The animal shelter is waiving adoption fees for cats and guinea pigs through the remainder of November. Community events, library system, the Department of Community Resources is partnering with the Prince Frederick Library to host an informational COVID-19 rental and utility relief live stream on November 19, 2021 at 12 noon. Calvert County government is processing applications for the Maryland Emergency Rental Assistance Program, which provides temporary rental and utility assistance for eligible renters whose income or expenses has been impacted by COVID-19. This emergency assistance is to prevent evictions and utility turnoffs and is subject to funding availability. Funding is available for eligible households for up to 12 months of overdue rent going back to March 13, 2020, up to 12 months of overdue utility or home energy costs going back to March 13, 2020, up to three months of current or future months rent at a time, up to three months of current or future months utility costs at a time, Calvert Marine Museum. Monday, November 15th, the quarterly Fossil Club meeting will begin at 7 p.m., followed by a public lecture at 7.30 p.m. by Dr. Emily Willoughby from the University of Minnesota, who will speak on the art of dinosaur bird evolution. The meeting and lecture will be virtually presented via Zoom, and there is no charge to participate. Find the link to attend on the Calvert Marine Museum Facebook or by visiting calvertmarinemuseum.com. Anne Marie Gardens. Outdoor Family Clay Dates Holiday Ornaments. Join us outside in the park Sunday, November 14th between 1 to 3 p.m. and make a family clay masterpiece. Work together to create an assortment of holiday ornaments. Learn slab, coil, and texture techniques and paint your projects with colorful underglazes. These outdoor classes are small group, socially distanced experiences with no shared materials. A fun, low-risk way to spend time together. Family groups can choose to work on one project together or purchase additional project kits so everyone works on their own. An adult must participate with children. That concludes our broadcast. The Calvert County, Maryland Commissioner's Reports is a headline news podcast. Stay current with other news in Calvert County by following and liking the Calvert County Government's Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Calvert County MD, on Instagram at Calvert Broadcast, on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Calvert County Gov, and our official website, www.calvertcountymd.gov. Thank you.